today we're going to take a look at how to control phase 6 volt DC motor 100 rpm rotation per minute okay um, using uh, with uh, node MCU through Arduino IoT cloud so you we're gonna use the uh, Arduino IoT cloud to control uh, this uh, guy here so we're gonna be using the uh, Arduino IoT cloud okay uh, that's the app IoT re remote from Arduino IoT cloud Okay, guys. Uh, so, if if you open it, you can open it. Uh, okay. So we're gonna use this app. Okay. Now uh, we're gonna build um, uh, the project. So welcome to TME Education video. So. Uh, first of all, I need these two jumpers, wire, these two jump, uh, jumper wires, okay, and uh, we're gonna be using the, uh, the pin, uh, the G, uh, GPIO, uh zero okay i'm freezing this section because i'd like to explain something to generate a pwm signal on the uh, node mcu pins with arduino id we use analog uh, write function the, the value is uh, an integer between 0 and 20 uh, and um, 10 23 okay 1023 to deliver us uh, the um, PWM signal so I'm going to connect that in here like that and uh, uh, so that's for the uh, uh, enable input pin okay uh, so and the the other two so three point three volts okay uh, that's the uh, input uh, input one uh, okay uh, that, that's the uh, input one because it will remain on okay so we're gonna control the uh, the DC motor through enable pin so we're gonna connect the 3.3 volt to in to input one okay but before that I need to take out that jumper okay like that I, I, i'm going to put that here like that okay then i can now i can connect my uh, the jump oh i can do that okay first of all i connect the pw pw M signal then the input one like that okay so uh, after that I need to connect uh, the ground pin to the ground okay so here that's the ground 
plus 5 volt and 12 volt okay so i'm going to connect the ground let me goes here okay so and uh, i need an uh, an external power supply okay that's um that will be okay that that uh, an external power supply um, positive negative like let me fix that okay okay great now that's gonna be connected to plus 12 volt plus 12 volt okay okay like that okay fix now uh, the ne negative okay the negative two mirror pin okay the negative of the uh, board with negative of the uh, uh, three I mean seven point three volt seven seven like that. Is that is that correct? No, no, no. I made a mistake here. That's the motor. The, the ground is this wire. Okay, great. Now, uh, because I'm using the input one, I need to use. Uh, these outputs okay out two and out one so one of the wires I connect to out one and uh, this wire to out two okay like that Okay, I think everything is great. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's correct. Okay. Now I need now I need uh, to power the uh, board and I okay. okay so that we can see notice the the change okay everything is good yeah now let, let's jump to the uh, code okay okay folks now we go to google and uh, we type arduino iot cloud again uh, we click on arduino cloud we click on get started for free because i, I don't have money 
so click on that click on things to create a thing click on create a thing then you rename your project uh, for me it will be uh let me see dc motor then i click on remain so dc motor control click on, on, on rename after that i add a variable and uh, the name will be pwm signal and uh, the variable type is going to be integer then i click on add variable after that i go to associated device i click on that a third party um no it's not esp32 i made a mis i'm making a mistake here uh, change please change that change that please no yeah that's it now you uh, uh the first board yeah that's it and continue then you can give a name to your device um, for me it's going to be dc model control click on next you cap the secret key then you check the uh, yeah like that and then you press continue press done uh, yeah now you connect the um, so that's now my wi-fi password okay i need to go to to a previous project so so that i can cap the correct password so uh the arduino the arduino cloud saves for us our previous um project with our uh, wi-fi name and wi-fi password so i need to go there to to retrieve uh, the correct password that's it okay I, i'm going to cap that okay like that boom and uh, i go to yeah i leave now i go yeah i leave i leave this page now i go to uh network i click on that and uh, i paste the co correct password and uh, my secret key as well below secret key okay that uh, we we've just copied the one okay so you press control um i mean windows v Okay, it's okay. Now we go to dashboards uh, to create a, a dashboard. Okay, now click on create dashboard. Uh, then you click on add. Okay, Re rename your dashboard. This is more control. Okay, click on rename now click on add click on slider because we're going uh, we're gonna change uh, the speed of the of the uh, decimal sorry so re 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 rename your widget so here is no no yeah like that okay so that's 1020 then you click ok we forgot we forgot to link the variable okay with uh to or with our pwm signal variable okay now press done okay press done no now after done okay we can uh, change the position of our widget, our uh, slider, okay, on the phone. Now we go to uh, scale things, okay. You click on things. Now you click on our project, the this model control. Uh, we go to our sketch. So we need to change the sketch 
okay that our pwm signal here and uh, i need to to define a new variable which is gpio zero okay it will uh is the gpio zero pin is going to deliver uh, uh the uh the the pwm signal okay so it's an outer port the gpio zero like that now here is we write analog write function okay P gpio zero that uh, will be receiving the uh, pwm signal okay we just we cut and paste here the pwm signal so the pwm signal contains the uh, digital number okay that goes to, from 0 to 10 23 1023 uh, so now we we are uploading the code okay as you can see here our port is con 7 so the arduino cloud has detected the port of our device so now verify if the board is online is online okay now guys if we go to uh, iot we want up so that's our project and we can now we can control the DC motor from here. So that's the max uh, PWM's signal. Okay guys, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.